One surprising piece of legislation showing the gun lobby's influence, the Affordable Care Act. Yes, the Affordable Care Act. Using language pushed by the National Rifle Association, the health care law bans doctors, all doctors, from collecting data from patients uh, on if they own a gun, if they use guns or ammunition, or keep them in their homes. And joining us now, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, our chief medical correspondent. Uh, Sanjay, uh, how did guns end up in Obamacare? That seems so strange. Well, you know, Wolf, as you pointed out, the NRA has has been lobbying for this for, for some time, and they're quite public about this. That, that part of it is, is not a secret. Uh, it was Senator Harry Reid who ultimately uh, actually got this this small provision. It's really only five lines, Wolf, but it was Senator Harry Reid who ultimately got it as, into the Affordable Care Act. And I should point out, it doesn't specifically forbid doctors from asking patients about guns, but it's more about them being able to document it, being able to use this for research purposes and for uh, research into gun safety. Now, you know, folks from the NRA will say, well, look, we don't want patients to be discriminated against because they own a gun. We don't want their insurance premiums to be higher, things like that. There's been no history of that ever happening, but that's sort of their argument, they say. People who want these conversations to happen and be able to be documented between patient and physician say this is how we make things more safe. Uh, so this is sort of the friction back and forth over this, again, very small five-line provision wall.